So we're talking about comet tails, huh? So here we go. Here's the way it starts. Here's the sun right here, which is always sits in the middle and is a big driver of all this business right here, as you might guess. And then what happened was suppose that a comet somehow got jarred loose of the Kuiper belt and sort of got into this big time orbit coming around the sun like this. And this is typically what these orbits look like, highly elongated like that. So what will happen then is here comes the comet right here. And initially when the comet's very far away, there's no tail at all. It just looks like a round rock that's sort of orbiting. But what happens is, of course, it, it's reached that delicate balance of the gravity and speed. And so here it comes. And so it gets, starts to get a little closer to the sun like that. And still nothing much happening. But as soon as it starts to get close enough to the sun, maybe like right in here, then it starts to warm up because of the sun's warmth that you know is sort of coming from the sun. Some of that heat that's coming from the sun uh, will start to interact with a comet. I don't want to get too much on this figure because I have a lot more to add. And what will start happening is the comet will start to melt a little bit because remember it is just ice. And when it melts, it'll be true then that the tail will just sort of start coming out like that. There'll sort of be a tail that'll come out, which is really just melt of the ice. And so that's what you see. So there's a couple things, a couple things about the tail. Once the tail is forming, let me maybe draw it over here now so the comet gets even closer and it starts to get even warmer. The tail starts to grow and starts to become very visible as we saw. Okay, so there's two aspects to the tail now. And I'll leave this picture for a minute. Let me go down here and sort of describe what happens. So here's the comet right here. And here's the tail coming out like this. Okay, because it's starting to melt. That's all this is at the moment, is just melt from the comet. Okay. But what happens is there's two things coming from the sun. The first thing is, of course, the light from the sun that's going to come up like this. And you can definitely think of the lights from the sun as the heat that causes the melting to happen. And so what happens if you really, really zoom in big time like this here, then what happens is if there's a little bitty piece of melt right here, so this is like this, the smallest piece of of ice melt that you can think of right there, what will happen is if over here, this is say a photon from the sun, a photon is sort of another way of thinking about light from the sun, what will happen is this photon here can actually sort of push on the melt. And so what that will do is just sort of cause the melt all told because it's getting a push sort of just to go, ooh, that's way too thick. Oh, what did I, oh, that's too bad, not too bad. Okay, sorry about that, it's too thick. I just wanted to draw like a little arrow here to illustrate that the photon's gonna push the melt and the melt is sort of just gonna start going out that way. Okay, that's fine. And that describes, in some sense, the direction of the tail because the tail of the comet gets a push from the sun's light. So definitely a push going on. Push that way. Push, let's say, along the light's direction. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, that's one thing that can happen to the tail. And typically, this is what forms the white tail that we see from a comet. Because if you just push around some white melt, there's really no color change or anything like that. You just push it around and it starts going out that way in the direction of the big purple arrow. Okay, but as we know now, the sun has some other awful stuff coming off of it. And I'll sort of draw that maybe in this blue color here. Remember what also is coming off the sun is all these protons and electrons that are also streaming out in that direction too. So these protons and electrons are sort of going this way too because they travel out away from the sun. And so the question is then, what happens when one of these electrons, say like this one I've drawn right here, this electron or a proton, what happens when it gets in there and interacts with the melt? So in other words, right here. What happens when this electron hits this little piece of melt off the comet? Well, what happens is remember these charges here are a bit different than just light is right here. Like we discussed what happens when charges interact with the body and the cells, it rips them apart. Well, the charges also tend to rip apart, let's say charges, they tend to rip apart atomic structure. 
whether it's in us or a piece of metal, it rips the atomic structure apart. And whenever atomic structure is rip ap- ripped apart, that's sort of the origin of where we get color. We'll talk about color in several lectures from now, but that's sort of where color would come from. In the case of comet melt, the color we get is blue. Blue comes out. So if you start ripping apart the atomic structure of melt, you get blue. And so what will happen here, let me just sort of wrap this up for you here, that when this electron right here hits this piece of melt right here, what's going to come out and go this way is a bit of melt, I guess, but the melt is going to take on this bluish hue now. So the melt is going to look like that. It's almost like the melt is going to start glowing a little bit, and that's probably the best way to say it, that the solar wind causes melt to glow. Causes melt to glow, and we even have the color blue. Okay, so that's the two things hopefully you got out of this video here is the sun causes two things to happen on a comet's tail. Two things to happen. The first thing is you get a push with no color change, it'll stay white. The second thing is that you get a bluing glow, and I will also say there's also a push in there. So the first one is a push. With no color change, that's just the melt that the light causes. The second thing is a push with a glow. So in the next video, I'll tell you how this forms the comet tails that we see.